what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with your track simulator 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am so the first step i would recommend doing for everybody Everybody is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. The next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes and once you click processes I want you to simply end every single task which is currently running and has nothing to do with windows obviously so two reasons for that first of all too many applications too many background processes too many programs too many games running at the same time on a low and or bad PC will cause crashing, lagging or freezing on the long term because your PC can't handle that anymore. So just trust me and end every single process. Once you're finished with that, I want you to end the task manager again. And afterwards search for an empty spot onto your uh, monitor or your desktop. You're gonna right click and simply navigate to the very button where it says display settings. We're gonna hit that and stick around display. And the first step is going to be to identify which your main monitor is. And obviously this just applies if you have more than one. So you're going to hit identify and identify it. Once you're done with that, scroll down. Go to scale and layout. We want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So for example, if you have an in-game 1720 by 1070 I also want you to apply this to your display resolution. Once you're finished with that, simply end this task. Navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click into the window symbol, open up your settings, navigate right onto update and security and stick around windows update. Well, I want you to click into check for updates. So once you're finished with that and this task, navigate right onto your graphics card, driver, application or use the browser for that and download the latest version of your driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. 